that you encounter this problem, you want to watch your favorite show on TV, but the sun is just too damn bright. It's annoying. But for this, I decided I'm going to try and find a solution. So as you can see, I want to make sort of a beamer stand that will go on a bed. And it's going to be comprised of four elements. The stop stand where the beamer goes on, then the two legs, which is basically this, and then a connector on the back of them to give it a little bit more stability. I don't know yet if I'm going to connect them with screws or I'm just going to glue them together because I don't know how to get these uh, in, in, in bytes because I don't have the tool necessary for that. And then this is the bed area. As you can see, there is sort of an angle. It's a 15 degrees angle. So I am hoping to slide it, slide it in there somehow. And uh, there is the aforementioned beamer. So now I'm going to go to Praxis and see what I can find and who can help. Okay, so let's have a little bit of sketching part in this video as well. As you could see before, I did the actual early sketches with ballpoint pen and those were the sketches that I used to actually ideate this process. Uh, as you could see also in the, in the video, it's really bright during summer here, especially in Europe, here in Amsterdam, you get bright sunshine from, I would say, 6 a.m. or maybe even 5, half past 5 in the morning, up until 10, even half past 10 sometimes, especially at the peak, peak of summer. And when you want to watch something, it's almost impossible to watch it on the screen. So I started looking at beamers and one of my great good friends uh, actually uh, was so kind and just borrowed me his beamer. And as soon as, as soon as he did that, I was like, okay, this would be a perfect opportunity for me to try and fix some sort of solution in the bedroom, how and where to put the beamer. Because it's always not the easiest to find a good uh, space for the beamer. But we had this headrest uh, at, uh, at our bed. And I thought, okay, let's, let's just build a nice little uh, wooden stand for it. So something that I want you to take away from this is really that ideation and coming up with a good idea. You don't need a really great sketch for it. I really like the ballpoint pen and just shooting down ideas. And as you could see also in the main sketch, and I'm going to show it here now as well, you can see that I was really focusing on uh, nailing down what the measurements are. So actually while I was sketching, I went several times into the bedroom, I measured the angle of the bed, I measured the sizes, also the size of the beamer, what and how big I wanted this uh, platform to be. And then after that I just adjusted the sketch a little bit here and there. But the main idea was there and I, the sketch didn't need to look perfect. And this sketch here is really just for fun and also that you have something to look at. The main thing is that I'm mostly working in our uh, apartment, so I don't really have a workshop and I couldn't set up the camera so you can see the whole process. So you're going to see me stop here and there to have uh, small breaks and explain what I just did and what the next steps is going to be. It is really interesting working from home on a, a bigger project like, the, like this, especially because I miss it. I am an industrial designer and I uh, do miss these little real, uh, like th this, this is what you really call rapid prototyping, but then the actual prototype just, yeah, that becomes the real product for me in this case. It's, uh, it's, it's just really a fun little DIY project and uh, I had a tr tremendous uh, fun with it. And I can really recommend everybody who, who is studying industrial design or who, who loves sketching, just try to take one of your sketches or one of your ideas and drawings and actually put it into uh, a device like this. It's, it's really only scary until, until you get started, until you go out and actually get a couple of tools and start building what you, what you need building. As, as you can see, a drawing really can encapsulate everything you need and it's, it, it, it really just almost helps you to, to see what the process is going to be. And the process can be, it seems quite uh, daunting and big in the beginning, but it can turn into something really simple and really, really fun as you uh, start. And now let's switch into what actually happened throughout the process. I hope you enjoy. So I have sewn this into several pieces. This is for the beamer itself where it will come. And this will be sewn into two parts again. And it will be basically, let me take the drawing. As you can see, it will be these two parts, which are basically the legs that will slide onto the bed. 
so i already mapped it out i don't know how visible it is here but yeah it should be visible it will be cut in two and then the slits will come in here still have to decide if i want to leave uh here four millimeters or five millimeters but anyways this is the next step and then this piece will be the this back piece that you can't really see here but you can see it here the back piece so it's this one so i have the two supports cut out now the problem is this i cut a little bit too tight so the, the distance here is bigger than here and this was uh, not fitting so well on the uh, bed so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a little bit of more uh, sanding paper and just take away from from this thickness because the idea is also i want to put uh, a little bit of padding here some fabric padding so it won't uh, damage the bed so i sand it quite a bit here away but as you can see here i saw a little bit further away from the line that i wanted to saw and sanding the sticks forever so instead i just ran out and did what i should have done i got myself a file and uh, i'm gonna get to work with this one now all right and i'm back and i know technically for you i wasn't gone but i was gone for a week and i put this project on halt anyways next step uh, last time i showed you how it built up now i want to cut it short here so i have to measure that one out and then basically just gluing this baby together so i'm going to get cutting now and let's see how i end up where i end up here we have the box this is not glued yet i just put it on top of it but it will be glued there and there and then the back side so the back side is basically i just made the slots and that i will glue as well and so this is for stability obviously because with this already will be a bit stable and then one thing i'm thinking of i will cut back let me take this so I will cut back like this, just for the head to be a bit more uh, headroom there. So it will look like that. And then this would come back on top of it, obviously. And then this is where the beamer comes. Okay, and then here we have the finished piece. As you can see, I glued it all together. So to show you, glue was applied here. It was also applied down here. And then here where I made the cutouts on these two parts, I also glued it together. Uh, it got a little bit sideways here, so it's not as nice and straight as I wanted, but it, uh, the, the glue is actually really nice and holds it nicely. How it works, it slides onto the bed head there, and then this beamer comes on top of it. Now, let me show you how this actually looks like in the bedroom. To save the wood, as I said, I, made, uh, I left a little bit of play in here because I want to sort of apply a layer here and here of fabric and what i mean by fabric is really just a, a soft layer of fabric which would come here and as you can see let me demonstrate there so this is what i want i want this fabric to cut here and there and then even if i'm sliding it around it will definitely not damage this headboard so next step is that I have four strips of fabric. The, the most important thing for me is not just to cover these two sides here, but also to go in here where the bed is actually going to hit it. So and one is going to come here and the other one is going to come here. And then I have my wood glue ready and I'm just going to apply it here. So let's see how that works. I will cut off later on. Same here, it will be hanging out a little bit and I will cut it off there as well. Okay, now we're done. Looks pretty cool, no? I, I think this, this patch up color really works. So usually wood glue needs a couple of hours, maybe a whole day of being pressed together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Insert it here. Okay, and then to apply more pressure, I'm just gonna leave the beamer on it for the rest of the day, or probably tomorrow, and then I'll check how the gluing works. But yeah, 
This was my little homemade project. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a shorter and more different video, but uh, hopefully I will do more stuff like this in the future. So have a great week and see you next time. Bye bye. Ah. <sighs>